Uh, how concerned are you going into the Temple game with their guard play and your guard situation right now? Well, that's a big, it's a big concern, really. Um, you know, we probably couldn't be playing the worst team for us in our league uh, than playing Temple. Uh, I mean, they, they may have, you know, the, the, the quickest, toughest guards to, to guard one on one. You know, of anybody in the league, and uh, uh, and they're as good as any guards in the country, really, uh, getting their own shots, and and they have a lot of freedom to to, to get shots, and, uh, and and being down a guard and being down our best defensive guard is not exactly the ideal way to go into it, but uh, you know, we have to figure out a way to compensate for that, and. and play to our strengths and see what happens. Sure, you know more than anyone what, what Kia brings, but do you think that points out to the rest of the world and you know, all the little things? Gives you an extra three-point shooter, a great yeah. defensive player, a leader, someone who's going to make big plays at big times. Yeah, I mean, uh, when the season started, uh, we had a kid that started on the Olympic team for Canada, and she's a started for us for two years and nobody thought we were the best team in the country and now you take her out of the lineup and you look at our backcourt and you go hmm so uh what you know what happens during the course of a season is you have to make adjustments and you you know nobody had to tell us how important kia is to to what we do offensively and defensively and uh, the, you know, the sense of maturity that she brings for the most part and the experience that she brings. Uh, and it's not like we're taking her out of the lineup and we're replacing her with another senior who's been around the program for four years, you know? You're replacing her with a freshman. So it's a challenge for them. It's a challenge for Crystal, Sanaya, uh, Lou, you know, all three of our guards uh, to play a lot of minutes and not get in foul trouble and to get a lot done. And tomorrow, Saturday, Monday, whoever knows, until until Kia gets back, it's just a big challenge for those three guys. You said you wanted to see your team get laid off because they needed that. I mean, you didn't lose, but I would think enough things happened negatively for your group that is going to serve as that. Like, have you seen a difference? Uh, they have think, realized that, you know, that things can get better than they are right now? Um... You know, every single game that we play, um, there's things happen in the course of a game that you'll go back and say, and when you show them on the film, like, we've got some things that we've got to address. It's just that not, not every time are they reflected in the scoreboard, you know? Uh, because usually we shoot enough, we shoot the ball well enough usually to, to mask you know, whatever deficiencies are there. Um, and that's been the case since the Florida State game. You know, we generally shot the ball well enough, enough times to, to hide whatever, you know, whatever issues that we have. And, you know, Saturday, you know, those same things popped up, but we didn't shoot the ball well enough, you know? So uh, I think Tulane scored like four more points than they did when we played them at, at Gamble. The only problem is we scored 40 less points than we scored at Gamble. So, um, you know, our defense was just as good. You know, we did just as many good things. But when you don't make shots, every little thing, you know, starts to show its head. And, and you got to, you know, it gives you things that you got to you gotta address. Uh, and that's, that's, again, that's been the case for all 26 games that we played. The things that you have to address just... Just cutting better off screens, setting better screens. No, making more shots. I mean, if you make more shots, then all the things that happen, you wouldn't be asking me these questions. So we have four guys go one for five. So that's four for 20. So if they go 12 for 20, then nobody would be asking me any questions. They would just go, aren't you tired of blowing everybody out? So because none of the shots went in, now we have to sit here and go, okay, well, what do we have to fix? That's the danger when you play the way we play and you win as many games as we win. That, you know, when the scoreboard says you almost lost, 
that must mean there's a lot of things you've got to address. And if you're not careful, you go in and try to reinvent what you're doing and you, you end up screwing everything up. You know, but I've always said, you have to, you have to look at your offense and you have to look at, and say, what kind of, what kind of shots are we getting? We're getting pretty good shots and they're not going in. Then you know, there's nothing you can do about that. You just gotta step up and make them. And then defensively, you gotta look at your team and say, what kind of shots are we giving up? Well, you know, I said all along, this is not a great defensive team because we don't have, you know, the ability to block as many shots. We don't get as many steals, you know? We can't afford the foul, obviously. We can't be as aggressive. We can't press as much as we like. So we're not, you know, we're not the same kind of defensive team. And, you know, it's, it's no different than November. Nothing's changed. Today. Okay. Ooh, if she was, anybody needs Crystal, she has an exam, so she needs to study. So, guys. What? Well, what's on Lou today? She was getting, getting in the lane. She was hitting some pole officers. Who's that? Lou. Lou? Is, is that the next thing you want to see from her? And that if, if, if you have games like she's been having, that you can't just stay on the three point line. You, there's a, you can, you're talented enough that you can still score even if, you, if you aren't making shots from the corner. Well, you know, a really good player, a really good shooter is only as good as the people around her. So, if you have the ability to, to put three other people on the perimeter, or two out there anyway, where they have to be concerned with those players, now all of a sudden you're looking at a kid being guarded one on one by everybody. And you can deal, you know, you can figure out a million different ways to get new shots. When there's nobody else making any shots on the perimeter, now Lou's being guarded by three guys. So, how do we help Lou? Well, the other guy's got to make some shots. Now, did she get as many good looks as I wanted her to? No. No. You know, Tulane just took their chances. You know, it's kind of like the same thing we do with when we play some teams. You let that kid and that kid shoot as much as they want and guard, let's guard that kid with three people. And that's what happened. And you know, so what do you do? Well, Sanaya's got to make shots. feast has got to make, I mean, uh, Crystal's got to make shots. Uh, you know, and we, our defense, I don't think, was was disruptive enough to get us a, a bunch of transition baskets. You know, when we got up 18 on Saturday, you know, everybody, I'm sure, went, All right, you know, this, this is going to be 25 pretty soon. And uh, in order for it to be 25 and then 30, you got to make shots. You know, we shot 38% from the floor in the game. It's the last time we did that. So, you have to be able to win games when you don't make shots. And we did. Very good. Very good. Highly questionable fourth foul is calling this shit. I, mean, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You were saying that some of the guys look like they don't want to take shots, which. You know, yeah, we have guys. Yeah, we have guys on our team that they're like too unselfish. Right. Well, you know, I don't want to take the shot because if it doesn't go in, I'm hurting our team. Like you got to explain to them, if you don't take the shot, you're hurting our team. So, you know, it's I don't know. That's kind of uncharacteristic. They they have obviously all season. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know, yeah. Like, so. It's a miracle it doesn't happen more often. It's a miracle it doesn't happen once a month. You think about it, you know? Um, and we, we, we live in a, we live in a, we live in a constant dilemma, don't we? If we blow everybody out, it's because your league's not any good and there's no competition. If we lose a close game, What's wrong with you guys? Why did you suck? So we live in a world where you can't get caught up in either. You know? And that's that. When you've won 11 national championships, six other last day, where did winning the league regular season title rank? I mean, everything ranks. Everything matters. 
You know, everything matters. Uh, because it's the same as if you're playing in a tournament uh, in St. Thomas. So, well, where does that rank? Well, we're playing in this tournament. So, right now, it's the most important thing in the world. Is it as big as winning a national championship? No, but we're not, we're not there yet. We're in this tournament. So, we're in this conference race. So, the most important thing in front of you is winning the conference. And then after that, it's winning the, the tournament, the, the conference tournament. And then after that, you get to worry about the other thing. You know, so you can't, you can't ever look at it as anything less than that. You can't. Is it harder than it was 20 years ago to keep that? Well, not really. I mean, because you, you, you figure, you, oh, you know, we talked about Temple's trying to win the conference as well. So if they get a W tomorrow and you get another loss, then all of a sudden, what? It's a tie, huh? Right. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, tomorrow's a pretty important game. And that's good. You know, that's good. You know, I mean, the more important games you play, the better, right? I think. Another ranked opponent. Another ranked opponent. How many have we played so far? Eight, nine. Eight, nine? They're good, man.